That flag taking a beating today. When the winds are this fierce, you know there's going to be some damage. CBS News Vince Girasole has been tracking it all day long. He's live in the loop now. Vince. Brad, the winds have calmed down a bit, but they're still pretty strong. Here's evidence of it right now. On the construction site behind me, you can see the flags there just flapping in the breeze pretty violently. Now, this is one of the urban canyons that we have in the loop area. The winds are always pretty strong here, but today they were stronger than usual and they caused all sorts of problems. It's hard showing strong winds, but today it was easy to see their impact. A towering tree was knocked to the ground near 67th Street and Lakeshore Drive. At mid-morning, traffic was stopped as crews worked to clear it away. A dramatic scene at the base of Willis Tower. A taxi windshield shattered to pieces. Police say wooden debris from the building's ground-level construction project was blown loose from scaffolding. The driver was injured in the arm and taken to Northwestern Hospital. Construction workers scrambled to secure the area, but not before additional debris slammed into the revolving door of the tower's Starbucks. The entry was later boarded shut. Toppled trees smashed against parked cars on the northwest side, here slamming into the back of a pickup, and not far away, downing utility wires. Uh, well, Mother Nature kind of came in with full force. A downed pine tree crashed into the side of St. Robert Bellarmine Church in Jefferson Park, piercing the stained glass window of its convent chapel. Strong gusts had city officials taking the rare move of closing the seasonal Chris Kindle market in Daly Plaza just as a precaution. But along the Mag Mile, winds pushed against the Christmas tree in Jane Byrne Park, causing it to tilt and knocking off its decorations. Not far away, injuries were narrowly avoided along busy Lakeshore Drive in the Gold Coast as a light pole came crashing onto the three southbound lanes below. While police rerouted motorists, we got a closer look at the pole's rusted, decaying base that was no match for today's forceful winds. Now, times like this, we always try to illustrate just how strong the winds might be, but these gusts come and go, so I guess Maybe you can see my pants are sort of blown in the breeze here. And I've tried to use this Channel 2 t-shirt. Uh, sometimes it's straight out like this. But as I said before, the winds are starting to calm down a bit. Still pretty strong. Uh, I believe that warning is until 6 o'clock tonight. So be careful when you go out there. Bundle up and uh, prepare for a holiday weekend. Reporting live from The Loop, I'm Vince Girasoli, CBS 2 News.